Um, um, I work for um, SAM, SAM uh, Sustainable Asset Management. We are a small asset management company in Switzerland, and we're mainly known for doing the Dow Jones Sustainability Index, and this will be the 13th uh, uh, year. We have 8.8 .8 billion uh, euro asset management. I will try here today to bring a little bit the aspect of the financial community and of uh, uh, investor and show you also a little bit of a uh, graph that show a little bit what has been going on uh, in the past. Just uh, to put it a little bit straight because with corporate social responsibility we can understand a lot of different things. This is what we understand under corporate social responsibility which is a company capacity to prosper in an hyper competitive and challenging global business environment and I think in this last year, we have really seen competition. We really have seen uh, turmoil, what's have been going on, which has been uh, putting on a stress test, I, I believe, the, the company. And we think company can, can be successful by that, by anticipating and managing current and future economic, environmental, and social opportunity and risk, by being innovative, by increasing productivity, by, by, by aiming at quality. Uh, if we look a little bit on, at the history of, uh, of uh, sustainability investment, we have seen that, uh, uh, and uh, please apologize, I am uh, a lot very egocentric, so you will see a lot of uh, Dow Jones Sustainability Index development here, but you can see that in the latest year, there have uh, been an increase of sustainability indexes uh, produced around the world. And if you can think that the financial crisis probably started around 2007, 2008 with the financial uh, crisis. After that, we have seen a lot of indexes going on around the world. Also, what is not in this graph, but is in 2011, MSCI that has bought a, a big research house who integrates sustainability to help producing new indexes and will probably be our next big competitor in the market of uh, uh, sustainability indexes. We have seen houses, data houses like Thomson Reuters buying asset four and providing sustainability data to investors. We have seen Bloomberg providing sustainability data to investors. So we see that the market, independently from what the financial, the, the, the economic is doing and so on, is developing towards sustainability, is preparing the tools. We also see that uh, if you look at the signatory of the UNPRI, the UNPRI is the Protocol for Responsible Investment uh, the, the defined by the United Nations. You can see in this curve that the financial crisis has not brought any deterioration of the increase of signatories uh, and, the asset and the asset under management represented uh, in, in the signatory of this uh, protocol, which I think is also an indication that uh, it's not something that is only done when the weather is nice. It's, uh, and on the contrary, I think that uh, sustainability really becomes important when uh, the economics and the financial factor are really difficult. I show you a third graph in which you see the company that participates to our questionnaire for the Dow Jones Sustainability Index. And, uh, and it's very interesting to see a little bit this line. We have been moving from 300 companies in 1999 to 725 in 2011, and for 2012, we expect a number between 750 and 800. So, and if you look, when there have been an increase here, sorry, maybe if I do in this graph, you see it better, has been on the year 2002, 3, 4, there have been a, a big increase. This was after the IT bubble was burst. Then there were years in which the econo economy was doing quite well, where I see it was very easy to make money, and therefore company probably felt less the pressure to embrace uh, uh, sustainability. And then since the last financial crisis, we've seen again an uh, an increase of company participating, therefore willing to show to the world how sustainable they are. And, and uh, therefore I think uh, it's another proof that when, when, the, when the game gets tough, then uh, companies start understanding the importance to show to all the stakeholders how sustainable they are and what they do and how they take responsibly their role into society. Uh, more proof uh, there are not 
that many proofs I can show, but uh, there are some, a couple of interesting studies that also show, for example, right after the, the burst of the uh, financial uh, crisis. Um, in this graph, I don't have now the time to go into detail, but it shows that sustainable company three to six months after the burst lost in this case, or uh, sorry, um, had a better return than non-sustainable company. So in, in crisis time, also here is shown that um, it's worth to be sustainable. We also have done a study uh, on our own through the last uh, um, eight years. And the fact that it stopped in 2010, it's not that the afterward the data is getting bad, but it's just that we update it every two years. So I, have, I wait, I hope that we will have an update uh, at the end of this year. Um, we have seen here, here what we do in this study is to prove the sustainability cases. We have put all the company taking from the most sustainable to the least sustainable, divide them, them in five basket. And then here we show the performance of the most sustainable basket and the least sustainable basket, taking away all the biases, regional bias, size bias, currency bias. And you see the performance in dark blue is are the most sustainable company, the light blue are the least sustainable company, and the green one is the is a difference. And then if you see when was the period in which was the highest growth was 2002-2003, again after the IT bubble, and it was 2008 uh, and 9, again after the, the financial crisis. So you see that also the numbers show that uh, it pays off to be sustainable, especially when the game is tough. Now, Having said all these words, what we have also uh, seen is that uh, from the company side, we see a lot of company realizing sustainability is important. They're putting a lot of effort to integrate sustainability into the strategy and to put it into, into practice. Albertis has been doing this already since many years and have been already leading uh, in the sector. But what we see is that investors are still slowing, slow in understanding that. And of course, uh, as an investor, you have so many factors that can influence, can play a role, and so on. And investors tend to be quite conservative and therefore not always embracing that quickly new, uh, new factor or new theories coming, coming in. From our point of view, it's now the responsibility of the investor already have understood and of companies to show to the other investor that sustainability space off. We have shown the study, Harvard Business School has done another study that shows that sustainability really plays off, but really it's by proving that it's not sustainability, it's not a cost factor, or it is a cost factor if it's not done smartly. But if it's done the right way, sustainability really helps the company to grow and to grow better than their peers. Thank you very much.